Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to turn Windows 3.11 into an ISO image. First of all, you have to have the floppy images on your computer of the operating system. And you will need the two following programs, which is WinImage and ImageBurn, which you can find easily by searching on the online. They are both free. Before we start making this file, first of all, you're going to have to make a folder. So I'll just make one quickly here and I'm going to call it Win311. Now when I click on the first floppy drive image, it will show me all the files that's in the first floppy disk image. What you have to do is go to this arrow pointing down and this will enable you to extract this floppy image into the folder you just made. You have to do this with every disk until you've finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract that. So you can see the pathway is already there. So I'm going to press OK. It's going to tell me it already exists. So I'm not going to extract them again. But all you would have to do here is click Yes and carry on doing every disk until you're finished. You will get all these files in your folder. So the next step we're going to do is turn all these files into an ISO image. So I'm going to open up Image Burn. The option we want is create image file from files forward slash folders and we go to this little icon here which is browse for a file not the yellow one which is browse for a folder we want browse for a file because i've done this earlier it's already come up because it's remembered you need to select all these okay now they're all selected look for a destination it automatically goes to your documents library so you're gonna have to look for your folder i am um, i'm gonna pause a minute because i don't want everyone to see all my folders okay so i found my folder which is right there and all i would have to do is open that up and then click save and click on build you will get this little pop-up box you just click yes and then ok and it will make the ISO image fairly quickly as you can see and it's all done and this is as easy as that. Now if I go to the close this down and if I go in uh, that's the preview as you can see there it has burnt my ISO image and if I click on that image burn will open up. I can pop in a CD and burn it to the CD. You might ask in the comments well how do I install it? I'll give you a little clue. You will, you can use a Windows 98 boot disk with CD-ROM support. That will work. There's a few ways of, of around there. That is one option. Um, the only thing with that then you would have to use a DOS boot up disk after Windows 3.1 is installed. You could actually extract a few DOS files and put them on the root of the hard drive. That may work. You could use, again, WinImage to extract that. Um, I'll show you the files. Um, yeah. If you extract the all the files from DOS 6.22, try putting these three files on the root of your hard drive after you've installed Windows 3.11 and hopefully that will work. It, it works on the USB method so I can't imagine why it's not going to work from a hard drive. If you understand what I just said maybe I won't need to make another video. But anyway, 
Thanks for watching and good luck with your project.